Hi folks, welcome. Today in this session, I'm going to show you how to run your own blockchain using multi-chain platform. In this session, I'm going to use a 64-bit Windows 10 operating system and you can choose any of your operating system choices that multi-chain is supporting. For this you need a minimum of 512 MB RAM and 1 GB of disk space. First to begin with we are going, going to download multi-chain and extract into a Windows local folder. I have downloaded the multi-chain and I am going to extract to a folder. Now open that folder in a command prompt. Cool. Now you are ready to create your own blockchain. The command to create your own blockchain is like this. Multi-chain iPhone util create and then you give your multi-chain name that's I'm giving my hyphen first hyphen chain the utility is going to create the configuration file and uh, params dot dat file you can check it out under the folder The parameter the params dot that holds all the parameters that the blockchain is going to use and also the genesis parameters which the system is going to write it. You can change any of these parameters which holds the protocol, the consensus. the mining parameters and before changing any of these parameters make a thorough understanding of why you are changing these parameters once you change these parameters once you run the blockchain you won't be able to change these parameters now you have created the blockchain now we are going to initiate run the blockchain to run we are going to use the daemon command multi-chain d and give the multi-chain name iphone daemon it's going to start your blockchain node first blockchain node and there it is the genesis block found it is found the genesis block that is the first block of the blockchain and down below you can see the string which can be used to connect from another node to this node which you are running now so that is the multi chain d and your blockchain name and ip address and that is the port so that's how you use this connection string to connect from another node to this node. That's it. So you have run your blockchain. So what next? Now you want to connect the nodes, different nodes and you want to execute your blockchain commands and then you would build your external applications which connect to the blockchain and execute the transactions. Thank you for watching.